Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> For my first YouTube check ever, I received. <laughs> It's your girl Sasharine and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see, I did change my name because I'm trying to rebrand myself on this platform and for brand deals and so on, I think it's very important that persons address me by my name because that's who I am and that's, this is now going to be my brand. So yeah, that's why I changed my name to my actual name, which is Sasha Reen Taylor. So if this is your first time, please go ahead, hit the subscribe button, turn your post notification on to be notified each time I upload a vlog. And to my returning subscribers, I love you guys. So I'm so excited to share this information with you guys. Um, as you can see by the title, you know, I'll be sharing my YouTube monetization. Well, stories not a story, but just like, you know, so I monetized a year ago. Actually, I monetized um, on October 28, 2022. Okay, so a quick disclaimer before I actually get into it. This video is strictly for motivational purposes. Like, I remember when I almost quit YouTube. I almost quit YouTube. Last year, remember guys, when I came back, I'm going to put the video right there so y'all can go back to that video. I was at a breaking point because I felt like I wasn't growing. I felt like I was just stagnant you know and i almost quit but i decided like no i'm not gonna quit girl just keep posting just keep pushing out the content just keep doing you you know and organically things will fall into place naturally things will fall into place so yeah i didn't quit and then boom so yeah i just want to say this video is super for motivational purposes like honestly if you're on your youtube journey and you feel like quitting don't quit okay just keep going just keep posting your content and the key thing in this industry or in this type of business is just consistent consistency so just keep putting out your videos and trust me you will grow over time just don't pay it in the mind make sure that what you're doing you're putting your heart in it and honestly if it's not something that you love to do then i don't think this is for you because if you're looking at the monetization part of it or if you're trying to get some money it's not going to happen overnight it's going to take some time and if you're not someone who's patient you know to like write it out then this is just not for you okay so yeah, alright, now I can get into what I was, you know, what I want to share. If you guys see me looking down, I just made some notes in my book, so I just don't want to forget anything. But yeah, I monetized last year, October 28th, and it's almost a year ago, and I've been wanting to share this, and I think now is the perfect time. Um, yeah, so just let's all start from the beginning. So the first video I ever posted was actually three years ago, which was my YouTube intro video because this was just me saying, hey, I have a YouTube channel, this is my intro and I'm going to come and post some content here. But then two years ago, which I believe it was actually September 2020, 2020, 2021, <laughs> it was around quarantine, I believe when you know the whole covid and everything anyways i started my my video and my first video was my coconut pumpkin rice so if y'all want to know how to go cook that go check it out but yeah that was my first video ever um i started youtube because like i just love lo i still love like y'all know i'm a chef i'll be shoving it up so i love cooking and i thought why not just share it um on youtube and on the platform like just for fun like that's literally how i started out you know i mean the monetary side of it once i got there which i might know would have just been a plus but i really just wanted to share my cooking and so i did that um and then yeah so i started the cooking thing and i i was getting like a lot of feedback that's when i also created like you know i created an instagram page and post my cooking stuff and persons would like comment and you know i'm like oh my god i'm really loving this and i love the fact that people were engaging with my content and commenting you know and stuff like that so i really love that and then i reached a point where i felt like i was stuck at like 500 uh subscribers on youtube and eventually so let me just correct i actually started my video three years ago it's showing two years now 
on YouTube because I started November 2020 so November is when I would probably hit the three year mark if y'all understand what I'm saying but yeah I started I think it was October November 2020 right so it's three years um and it took me two years to monetize look at that like <laughs> what if I had given up but yeah so I felt like I was stuck you know I had like 500 subscribers and I'm like oh my god when is this gonna happen for me but I was still posting my video and then I hit rock bottom and then I saw I went a while I stopped posting then I came to America and I was like yo my sister um, influenced me to like you know I know you love cooking but introduce vlog to your channel so I started vlogging still incorporated cooking and I feel like no I even vlogging more than I'm cooking and people even you know so they miss my cooking and stuff which by the way I'm doing a cooking series but that's for another vlog but yeah so I started vlogging and listen I don't know what happened last year but last year September out of nowhere so actually I came to um I came to, I visited Denver because the weekend had a concert here the weekend had a concert here and I came here and I decided that I was gonna vlog that I mean I was vlogging from before but then I came and I noticed that my channel was going up like I was growing I went to like 800 900 subscribers I was like <laughs> but the thing about it is I did get to a thousand subscribers right all right so let's just go into the nitty-gritty of how you actually become monetized on YouTube so so from my understanding from my perspective and I think the monetization process changed since here there are different requirements or I feel like they add things to make it easier but it's not easier and I'll get into that but um yeah so for me like what well what you really needed to monet what you need to monetize well what i needed to monetize on youtube was 4000 watch hours which i still think is a requirement you have to have at least a thousand subscribers that was it yeah <laughs> that was it and no violation no community guidelines violation or anything like that so of course i met all those requirements and then boom you know they sent me they actually so on the youtube studio they have something called earn and then when you when you click that icon i mean if you're doing it on your desktop it's gonna look different so yeah when you click on the or you can go to youtube partner that's where you would go to, to see the monetization requirements and all of that once you have met that and you go there it actually tells you that hey apply so i went ahead and i applied for the program and actually they responded like the next day uh, they approved it the next day like yeah so i needed to go on adsense um because that's the platform that you would go to set up the program and everything wait am i mixing it up hold on okay so once you apply to be a part of the program of the program you're gonna need to um use google adsense to like create everything and apply um first of all they're going to like i said i'm looking at my notes because i don't want to forget anything <laughs> i misguide you guys so you're gonna need to go on adsense go and it's the same email i think that's associated with your youtube account that you would use for your adsense um they're gonna ask you to verify your e your your address your billing um they ask you personal information you're gonna need to complete like a tax form I, at first i had a little not so much of a difficulty but i was you know i was just um what would i say i reached out to my sister because i was like am i doing it right but then you know being in jamaica being in the u.s is different anyways i ended up figuring it out and i did it right so if you reach that stage and you don't know what to do i mean i <laughs> i'm not a tax expert but you can ask a tax expert for advice you know but um yeah so you're gonna need to complete like a w-2 form um and so on and so forth <laughs> And of course, I'm gonna put like um, a screenshot here because I still have the emails with like all the confirmation emails that you know they would have sent to me to say, hey, your account was approved and everything. Um, also, what they will do is mail you a pin, um, and this is what they mail you. You see, you see it, you see it, bye bye bye. They send you this in the mail and of course on the front here it has all of that let me see if, uh, okay so actually I'm blocking here because my old address 
because I don't need them anymore. My own address is here. Um, and then when you open it, this is what, you know, all the information here with the instruction as to how you should go ahead and enter the pin and why they send you. The pin is actually on this side, but you know, of course, I'm not going to show you guys that. <laughs> But yeah, why they send you a pin, they do this so that they can verify your address and verify that you are a person, I guess, and verify that you are the correct person with the account and everything. It's just for verification purposes. So once you get this and you punch it, punch it in, baby, you are good to go. So like I said, everything was confirmed October 28th and how youtube pays is youtube pays like a month in the back that's that's like my understanding so like and they pay the 21st of every month so say for instance you are monetized um today's we're still in september so say for instance you're monetized um say september 15 you are monetized in se september 15 right you're not gonna get paid until november until October 21 October comes after September you're not gonna get your pay until October 21st so you have until the 20th to make the money to meet the threshold in order to get a payout the 21st and that threshold amount you have to make a hundred dollars in order to get a payout okay so let's backtrack just a little bit I don't want to confuse you guys you have until the so you're getting paid the 21st of October you have until the 20th to make changes to like your payment method so there are different payment methods available if you want a check to be mailed to you if you want a direct deposit like honestly who's not gonna select direct deposit I don't, I don't have time to wait on a check <laughs> but yeah direct deposit and the money is sent to you between the 21st and the 26th of that month and why I say it's month, month in the back because the payment that you are getting in October is really for September if you get what I'm saying so yeah it's I think it's a month in the back and I will explain further as to why I come to realize that it's a month in the back I hope that makes sense to you guys and I hope I'm not like confusing you or anything but um yeah I just needed to clarify that part so yeah so I monetized October 28th and then my paycheck like everything was verified confirmed done the 28th of October um, and in the meantime what you guys should know as well is once you're once you do everything on AdSense and it goes to the pin the pin is for verification right even though say, you you need the pin to proceed with like a payment method and stuff like that but your the fact that your profile and everything is approved for the monetization uh, part of YouTube your channel is making money from that point so even if you have not received the pin you don't have to worry your channel is still accruing money you're still making money but it's just that you won't get that money unless you give the pin to verify your account so the money is just going to sit there and accumulate if you have not verified your account with the pin so yeah i just wanted to add that part just so you guys know so then of course i got my first check november 21 well not a check, direct deposit, because I opt for that, like, who doesn't want direct deposit? Like, who's sitting around waiting on checks no more? <laughs> so, I don't really figure how much money I'm going to get. <laughs> so, for my first YouTube check, my first YouTube payment, your girl got $108.37, which... To a lot of you guys may not be a lot, but honestly, when my sister may have make hundred dollar, I'm gonna say, yeah. What do I need to do to make more? You know, like that was also motivation for me to just keep going, keep posting the content, and then I wasn't even as consistent. So September, that September period, I was posting because. Like, you know, I, I did the, the trip here to the weekend concert. I stayed at an extra day. I did some, a few things and I toured Denver. And then my sister, I flew my sister in. My brother uh, flew in from New York. We went to Miami. So I vlogged that. That vlog was up, was running and up and running. I did some hauls, I did cooking. So I started doing a few videos, which, yeah, I was like, I'm so excited and what y'all should know is 
the videos make money every month so it's not just if you post a video this month and say you it makes money for every month once someone watches that video you make money so it's not just that one time thing because people i don't know i'm just saying that just so you know so it's not just like oh i post this video today said so make money that month here that make money. it's always making money like once somebody watch it every month like you're, you're making money once you know the views are good because child like i said if you are watching the money part of it you're not gonna be motivated because Earlier this year, I was not posting and I was barely making money because I wasn't really posting. And of course, you know, and like I said, consistency. Once YouTube realizes that you're a consistent person, they're going to push your videos to people. Okay. And that's more views for you. So come on. So yeah, like I said, my first check was $108.37. And listen, your girl started working in November, early part of uh, December was a busy month for me to like, I did vlogmas even though I started, I wasn't consistent, but I think I posted like 10 videos in December. Okay. And for me, that was good. I think, or even more for November, I know I posted a lot of videos. Your girl did a work like I say, and in December, December 21st, my next paycheck was two hundred and seventy seven dollars and ninety five cents okay so in that period of time that i monetized i made three hundred and something that you all do the math three hundred and something dollars and i was like no man i need to do more but then you know things happen and i wasn't posting as much early in the year but listen your girl get back on her grind and like i said there is even if it's fifty dollars to make even if it's a hundred dollars to make ex extra money okay get on it and you can make more like like i said be consistent put the content out and also just make sure it's content that people want to watch you know so yeah i'm so happy like and honestly i have you guys to thank because y'all are making this happen okay y'all are the ones watching my videos and you know interacting with me and i really 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 do appreciate my family like we have come like a long way okay i really appreciate my youtube family so i have to say big up to you guys thank you so much and like you know i'm always just gonna leave like i said this is for strictly this is strictly for motivational purposes so if you are on your youtube journey just don't give up like just keep going just keep posting be consistent you know and you can't say you want monetized because like come on i know that if people want monetized people want to read because they want to make a little extra money like i know that i get that but put the work in like create the content schedule it you know do whatever you have to do to get the content out there and be consistent and you'll go and you monetize and even go and grow from there so you know i'm not a big youtuber like i'm still a small youtuber like i really want to get to 10k before the year ends like that would be a dream come true and yeah so what i'm gonna say is if you guys could just share my share my videos and you that are sitting down and don't want to start a channel get up go start that channel post that content and let's let's make some money together <laughs> let's stay in this together all right so yeah, I just wanna, that's all I wanted to share. Hey you guys, so I also just wanted to share some data and just some information. So my estimated revenue for the period of the time that I actually monetized, which was from October 28th, so from November through to December, this was the amount that I actually made. And also the reason why I say that YouTube pay a month in the back because the difference from this I actually received in January. So for November and December, my total revenue was $498.17. So if you have made it this far, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And if you have not yet subscribed, what are you doing? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>